Yo's me a boy, Shonen Boy, here today, I'm here today to talk about the latest two episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen, episodes 7 and 8. Let's get straight into this. So, I'm a bit behind on Jujutsu Kaisen, I was busy with other videos, and also work and life. Um, I haven't really got around to watching Jujutsu Kaisen, but I sat down tonight, and I watched uh, both episodes back to back, and they were a blast. Like, oh my god, like, the fight between Mechamaru and, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, Monoma, yeah, Monoma, uh, Mechamaru and, uh, and Monoma, uh, was, like, fantastic, like, oh my god, the amount of, like, uh, you know, animation art when it came to, like, this fight, um, you know, Mechamaru and Monoma going in, and, oh man, seeing Mechamaru, like, just go fully in when it comes to, like, you know, his, um, you know, Gundam sort of like Godzilla, you know, type of like, you know, thing. It's just like, wow. Like, like Mechamaru was so cool in this episode. Like, honestly, episode 7 was so, you know, cool with the animation and art and, you know, um, Mechamaru just going in with his Godzilla Mecha robot thing and Monoma, like, just, um, you know, going in with all of his different, uh, forms, and, like, dodging him, and, like, Mechamaru just, like, you know, blowing up, you know, shit, using his lasers, and it's just, like, wow, and, like, they really put the effort in to make this look really, uh, you know, action-packed and entertaining to, like, watch, and it's just, like, this, um, you know, and, like, I also love this opening. The new opening that's out for Jujutsu Kaisen is really good as well. Like, I love it as well. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, I just love this fight. Like, the amount of, like, uh, detail and the, uh, animation and the way it's, like, really smooth and the way, you know, the fighting and, and just the action packedness and it's just, like, wow. Like, they really, I um, you know, put the effort in, uh, to really, uh, you know, do this fight, like, justice. And it was really cool to see, you know these two characters go in, uh, these two characters, like, we don't really, I've never really seen, um, Mechamaru really, uh, go in that very much, like, I've seen Mechamaru, but I've only seen him, like, here and there, and he's not that very, uh, a very important character, um, and, uh, same goes, um, Monomo is actually a bit more of an important character, because, uh, you know, Yuji, um, you know, he wants to, uh, you know, avenge, uh, his, uh, friend, uh, back in season one, um, so he is, a, a bit more of an important character he's sort of like the villain um, but uh, you know we haven't really seen uh, Mechamaru uh, you know go in that very much and you know seeing him go in and you know seeing him like you know attack um, Monoma just like you know like, it's just, like, wow. Like, honestly, Mechamaru, I, 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 it has changed my mind when it comes to Mechamaru and him, like, just going in. Um, it's kind of sad, um, you know, what happens at the, you know, end, because at the end, um, he, uh, you know, unfortunately dies, like, he, um, well, he might not be dead, but, like, it, it's implied that he, uh, you know, died, and Mortima killed him, and it's just, like, um, you know, I really wish that, like, we, um, you know, um, we would have seen, like, more of Mechamaru, um, before he, like, you know, died, uh, you see Monoma using his, uh, domain expansion, and, like, um, here, I thought Mechamaru was done, like, honestly, I thought he was done here, and that he was not gonna be able to defeat Monoma, and, like, and it was just gonna be, like, you know, easy clap, like, you know, Monoma wins, but, like, no, he stands up again, and, like, he, I mean, he charges up, um, you know, his is, um robot again, and he uh, goes in for his last, you know, trying to, like, his best to kill Monoma, and Monoma's come a long way when it comes to, like, his power-up, like, he has come a long way from, like, season one, where he was, like, being, getting the shit beat out of him, and uh, Monoma, like, he's come a long way when it comes to, like, his power level, and everything like that, and him being a cursed spirit, and him having different forms, and him being able to slither his way out of, like, you know, attacks, and everything, like that because some of these some of the, um, sometimes when Mechamaru would attack him like I would think like oh yeah this is the um, you know he got him I like, I um, you know Monoma's dead and he is like you know out of like you know he's actually like you know straight up dead but no then he comes back in like a new form like, or he slither his way out of like you know 
out of Mecha Mario's attacks, and then, uh, you know, it's just like, wow, he's really, like, he actually is a, a real threat now, and, um, Mecha Mario is, like, no slouch, like, he is, like, he goes all out in this fight, and it is an action-packed fight, like, you have to see it for yourself, and it feels kind of sad, because, like, you know, um, I'm not too sure, um, I can't remember this girl's, uh, name off the top of my head, sorry, um, but, like, you know, those, t um, Mecha Mario and her her like each other um and uh you know and it's kind of sad because like you know she's talking to uh you know um his uh robot and kind of like confessing her feelings for him and he uh you know is like you know um likes her back as well but they never really like you know seal the deal and it's just kind of sad because you know at the very end it's just like Ooh, like, you know, it's implied that Mechamaru, like, you know, is dead, and it's just like, uh, like, you know, it just, it's really sad, honestly, it's really sad, and, uh, yeah, it's really sad that he, uh, you know, died, and, uh, yeah, then we, uh, go to, uh, basically what the second episode is gonna be all about, uh, episode, uh, eight, um, is, uh, they're having, like, this, uh, uh, Halloween night, I think it's, yeah, the, I mean, it's like a Halloween night where all these people are, and they're all in costumes, and everything like that, and you're seeing a veil being put over the, uh, you know, where, the area, and you see that there's gonna be, uh, you know, there's a lot of, like, people, and they've picked a very, uh, you know, um, populated sort of area, uh, to fight, uh, you know, the Jujutsu Sorcerers, and for the, you know, um, the curses to, like, feed upon the humans. So, like, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's gonna be a very, uh, you know, sort of hard to fit, I mean, a fight in this, uh, you know, area with all these people and everything like that. And I thought this part was really funny, where, like, this massive tornado, uh, just picks up all these people and just starts, you know, fli I mean, flinging them around. I thought that was really funny, and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? And, uh, and we see all the Jujutsu Sorcerers, uh, they're preparing for a battle with all these, uh, with all the curses, uh, um, you know, we see them all, like, in different, you know, groups. I've never really seen this guy with the mustache, but he seems, uh, kind of important. And, uh, you know, um, and they're all, like, you know, gearing up, ready to, uh, you know, fight, uh, the curses that are coming for this, uh, you know, night out on the town, uh, for this, uh, you know, Halloween sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, and you see, uh, Panda. Panda's one of my favorite characters. I like him. He's funny. Um, and, uh, yeah. And that's basically episode 7 in a nutshell. Uh, you know, there's not very much else to talk about. But, you know, Mechamaru versus Monoma was a really good, uh, you know, fight. And I really enjoyed uh, episode, uh, you know, 7. I give it a good solid, uh, you know, 8.5, maybe even a 9 out of 10. It was a really good episode. So let's move on to episode, uh, you know, 8. So episode 8, we start off the episode in uh, this, uh, you know, really populated area um, where they're having this, uh, you know, sort of like Halloween sort of like party and, uh, you know, there's a lot of people, uh, you know, trying to, uh, you know, um, in this like uh, underground sort of like tunnel, uh, they're trying to group all the people up so that they can, uh, you know, protect them, the Jujutsu Jiu -Jiu -Jiu Sorcerers, we see uh, Gojo and he's, uh, you know, trying to look out for all the, uh, you know, humans that are there and uh, he he jumps uh, down, and uh, he, oh man, honestly, Gojo, um, you know, <laughs> um, he is the most prettiest guy ever in anime, e ever, like, any guy uh, pales in comparison to uh, Gojo, he is so uh, damn, like, pretty, and honestly, I would uh, turn gay for him, like, I straight up would turn gay for Gojo, he is like, he's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, so, yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to mention that, so, yeah, um, moving on, um, honestly, uh, this whole, you know, thing with, uh, you know, Yuji and Mai, uh, their little group, I've never really, uh, you know, seen, uh, you know, Mai's, I think it's, like, little brother, um, and, uh, because, like, I just didn't, I just could not, you know, care less for his, uh, character, um, it, I mean, he just seems like he's, uh, you know, simp for his, uh, big sister, and it's just like, you know, and, um, I gotta say this, uh, you know, my, honestly, uh, you know, change your hairstyle, just change your hairstyle, it looks 
you know, goofy. It looks goofy. Um, you need to change the hairstyle. Um, Mai is a really hot character. Like, I actually really like Mai. Uh, you know, she, her character design is really cool. But, like, I just... I, I do not like the hairstyle. Just change the hairstyle. Your face is really pretty. Why do you hide it? Like, just why do you hide it? Like, seriously. Um, you know, it's really annoying. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, um, they're in a group, and uh, you see the relationship between, uh, you know, Mai and her little brother, and it's kind of like, uh, little brother's kind of a simp, honestly, for Mai, and uh, yeah, she's, uh, you know, um, Mai doesn't really do very much in this episode, uh, Yuji, uh, you know, um, does, uh, um, you know, a bit in this episode, same with uh, Gojo. He's uh, he fights uh, the uh, Rose guy uh, and uh, the uh, Volcano guy. Um, I can't remember the names off the top of my head, sorry, but I just call them Rose guy and um, and Volcano head um, because you know that's easy to remember. And uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, we've seen our Volcano guy, uh, you know, um, you know, in Season 1, he's very powerful. And the same thing goes for uh, Rose guy, he's very powerful as well. And, uh, yeah, and those are the two guys that are going to face uh, Gojo. And, uh, basically, uh, this episode is, uh, you know, they will explain, uh, you know, Gojo's, uh, powers and how they're going to, uh, whittle him down so that they can, uh, you know, defeat him. And, uh, you know, they, um, they do explain, uh, that when it comes to, like, you know, uh, you know, Ghetto explains, uh, Gojo's, uh, powers, uh, you know, um, throughout this episode and how they can take him, uh, down because they've got to take Gojo down if they want to have any chance of, like, actually, like, you know, being successful in, like, taking down the Jujutsu Sorcerers that are, you know, uh, opposing them. So, yeah. And, uh, they're going over the pa um, plan, uh, you know, Mai and also, you know, um, uh, Yuji, um, you know, um, that they got to protect their citizens at the, uh, um, at the, um, where there's, like, you know, at the, you know, where this basement is, like, where this, like, you know, train station is at the basement, and they've got to, like, you know, uh, and Motoma is, uh, down there, and Yuji, uh, is going to, our uh, face Motoma, um, I think that's going to happen next episode, or the, um, episode after that, I'm not, I'm not too sure, um, but, uh, yeah, that's, like, his, uh, true fight, but, uh, Yuji does, like, fight, uh, you know, a cursed spirit, uh, in this episode, he faces, uh, this, uh, grasshopper, and, uh, you know, the fight between, uh, Yuji and this grasshopper is kind of just like, eh, like, it's not that big of a deal, um, you know, the grasshopper's not that very strong or anything like that, but they really put the effort in to, uh, you know, f um, you know, really animate the fight, um, I mean, really well, honestly, um, you know, it's, um, you know, it goes back and forth, the animation is not as good as, like, you know, um, uh, you know, Monoma versus, um, Mechamaru, but the animation's, like, you know, whatever, and they explain, you know, why, uh, you know, um, uh, grasshoppers are so, um, are like, you know, uh, you know, feared by people and everything like that, and, you know, um, how this, uh, you know, curse was created, and everything like that, why it's so strong, and, uh, Yuji and, uh, this grasshopper have a, uh, fight, and, uh, you know, the fight's pretty alright, like, it's nothing too special, um, you know, they, um, they put their effort into, uh, you know, animating this, uh, fight, and I do like when, uh, this part, where, like, they're just going in, and they are uh, you they're using their fist and it's just like <laughs> it's like you know it just reminds me of that and uh yeah it was kind of hard to like watch this because like you know it was a kind of a bit you know um foggy uh to watch this but uh yeah and uh just look at yuji there he looks like a i mean he looks like a boss like he looks like an actual boss um you know when he takes down this uh, grasshopper i really like that and he takes it down like it's not that very big of a deal, he, um, it's, you know, no big deal for, uh, Yuji, and this kind of shows that Yuji, uh, can actually, like, hold his own, uh, against, like, you know, um, strong, you know, cursed spirits, like, he can actually, like, hold his own, um, you know, he's, you know, way more capable than he was, uh, you know, in season one, and, uh, yeah, and then, um, that's his, um, and, uh, his, uh, true fight is, uh, Monoma, uh, he's, uh, you know, that's like he's, uh, you know, going to be his, uh, true fight. That's going to happen, like, either next episode or the, uh, episode after that. And, uh, yeah. 
And then we get, uh, you know, towards the end uh, where Gojo is facing uh, the three cursed spirits and they explain uh, Gojo's uh, powers and how they're going to get him um, get him into a, uh, you know, populated area so that he can't use his, uh, you know, powers to the full extent or else that he will, you know, hurt people and that's the, and that's the best way uh, to, uh, you know, fight uh, Gojo because, uh, you know, the cursed spirits, they don't care. They don't care about, you know, humans or anything like that. Uh, they will just kill them. But, like, Gojo, unfortunately, he has to, like, protect them. And he has to, like, watch out for them. And he can't just, like, you know, um, you know use his full powers. Because, like, you know, he'll straight up be, a, um, he'll straight up, you know, kill someone. And, uh, yeah, and that's what they have to, uh, that's what they're kind of trying to do. And, um... And I thought it was kind of funny that they were ex explaining Gojo's powers, and uh, these guys are in, uh, you know, a playground playing with our uh, kids and blowing bubbles. Like it was just very weird that they're explaining Gojo's powers, and they're in like a playground. I thought that was very weird, but uh, yeah. And you see, uh, you know, those uh, uh, Volcano guy and Rose guy, they're all, um, you know, going in, trying to attack Gojo, and they're killing off, uh, you know, people that are, um, the civilians that are around him, and, uh, yeah, they just explain his uh, powers and how they can, you know, defeat uh, Gojo, um, but honestly, I just don't think they're going to defeat Gojo, like, he is way too powerful, honestly, and they try to go in, they try to defeat him, and, uh, you know, Gojo just jumps out of the way, and, uh, you know, and then we get this really cool shot of our uh, Gojo at the very end of the episode. I'll try to get it for you guys. Um... Uh, yeah, here we go, um, where he pulls down his, uh, you know, blindfold, and we see his eyes, and, uh, Gojo usually covers up his eyes, um, I'm not too sure what the whole, like, you know, covering his eyes, uh, you know, means, um, it might, I uh, mean, he's, like, releasing his full powers or whatever, but, uh, yeah, but he, uh, you know, shows his eyes, and he's gonna go full power on these uh, two, uh, you know, curse, um, you know, spirits, and uh, it's gonna be a pretty cool fight. And I think next episode is gonna be really, uh, you know, cool to uh, watch because I don't know Gojo is gonna go in, and uh, Yuji is probably gonna fight um, Monoma, and it's gonna be a very action-packed episode uh, next week. So uh, yeah. But uh, that is uh, the uh, two episodes in a nutshell. I pretty much went over everything that happened in these two episodes. Uh, the two episodes were really good. I really enjoyed sitting down and watching these two episodes back to back. Um, I might do that again um, where I wait for two episodes and then watch them back to back and do a review like this. Um, who knows? Um, but it's I mean, kind of hard to get to everything that's coming out. There's so much coming out lately that it's been very hard to get to certain things. Um, um, with our, you know, work and other, you know, other things going on in my life. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, this is your boy, Shonen Boy, signing out. You know, like, comment, and subscribe. I would also give episode 8 a good, solid, uh, you know, um... Uh, 7.5 out of 10, maybe an 8, and our last episode, episode 7, I'd give a good solid 8.5, maybe even a 9, because I really like the whole Mechamaru versus um, Monoma fight, it was really cool, so anyways, yeah, but anyways, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later, and have an awesome day.